Hey guys, I assist you here. Um, I have a review for you today on the shades cases. Let me turn up the lighting really fast. Okay. So, I had to just turn up the, bump up the lighting. Let me move my tripod up. It's a little loose. Okay. So, I'm going to review my shades case for you today. Now, I don't know if you can tell, but I have my... Oh yeah, you can definitely tell, sorry. I have my music skins on, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the uh, shades case on. But, I'm going to try. I had to film all of these. I'm going to film all the reviews that you're seeing for the next couple of days today, just so I can get them over with. So to get the shades case on, you just squeeze it on the side so that it opens up like that. You slide your iPod in. It's going in pretty well with the music skins, so... The only thing is, these are fun as... Okay. These are fun as you know what to get off. I'm just going to say that right now. But the case by itself is great. You can see the link in the sidebar. And uh, just follow that, check them out, maybe buy one. I gave away one to SSK6161. Wow, that's really cool. I haven't done this yet. <laughs> Um, as you can see, I'm rocking the black one that I got, and it's got the mirrored screen protector still on it. This case is actually a lot nicer than I thought it was going to be. To be perfectly honest, I thought this might, like, rip, and, you know, this would be scratched up or scuffed, and that this wouldn't be, you know, well, well made. But I was wrong. <laughs> um, one thing that can be a little bit annoying, I'm just going to come right off the bat and say, this edge. Let's see if I can get a good shot at that. Um... I don't know if you can see that raise right there. There's a definite raise. And it's kind of a sharp edge. There's also no cutout for the volume rockers or the hold button. So that makes it a little inconvenient and you have to kind of just guess where they are. Let's see if I can get it. Yeah, I, I got it. But you just have to kind of guess and push from behind a little bit. Ah! <laughs> Whoops. Now this case, as you can see, is not made for protection. I could do that and the iPod's fine. No damages, nothing bad. But if I were to, like, slam it down on the ground, or drop it from even, like, just above the camera, like, right here, stuff wouldn't go too well. Um, the case is mainly for protection, like, scratch protection. It's not a screen protector. It's not a case. It's a shade, is what they say. It's, um, yeah, I mean, it's good for scratch protection. It's definitely a thick, durable material. It's got a little screen film over it here. I'll show you. A sec. Hang on, let me get my finger under there. You can see that. My finger's underneath that film. Let me move my finger forward. There. Oops. So yeah. There's also not a cutout for the home button, so that can be a little annoying to push in. But, to the pros of this case, it is great scratch protection. I mean, there's no scratches. It's got the same texture as the, um, uh, invisible shield. I forgot what it was called for a sec. But, another problem I'm kind of noticing is these little air bubbles. They're kind of like water bubbles. You can't really see them too well. Let me see if I can get a shot of them. Right in this region, you kind of see that. Those dark spots, those are um, just like little air bubble kind of things. But those, you get used to those, and they go away after a while. The case is a great, great deal. 15, I'm pretty sure it's 15 bucks for one of these. Definitely, definitely very scratch resistant. The open dock is amazing. Um... As I can see right now, I think it's going over pretty well on my music skins. We'll find out how easy it is to remove. But overall, I'd give this case a 4 out of 5. The only issues I'm having are the volume rockers and the hold button. It's a great condition. No rips, no tears, nothing wrong with it. It comes in a variety of several different colors on the, oh, on the website. It shows you, if you go over to their website and click on the shades for your iPod, any iPod, it will, you can just scroll over the colors and it'll change color on the iPod and it'll show you what exactly it looks like. So, to get this off, I'm going to show you a very simple way. I'm trying to find something here. I'll use my, uh, I don't know, something like a card. Or I'll use this that I got with my air drives that I have yet to review. Um, I'm so sorry I procrastinated on doing this. I've got a lot going on. So you take a card like this, there's my air drives card, and you're just going to stick it underneath the case and create a separation barrier between your iPod and the actual shade, then you're just going to push down on the top. Now this isn't going very well. 
There we go. Okay, you just gotta push really hard, and it'll come right out. And, um, <laughs> there we go. It's out. So just use a card, put it on the top, over the screen, and slide it right up. You can't remove it without the card. <laughs> you just have to save some sort of a card, or I've used my headphone jack to get it off. But yeah, overall, this case is really nice, lightweight, and durable. You can see it's hollow. It's definitely incredibly thin. You can see here... You can see that? There you can see the film that's over the screen. Right there. Ugh, excuse me. <laughs> right there. And yeah, I would definitely give this case like a 4 out of 5 stars. Alright guys, peace and catch me for my next reviews. Don't forget to subscribe if you like this. Bye guys.